Even though continuous variables can be any value, in the real world, they're rounded, right? So why is that? Continuous variables are rounded because no matter what we use to measure, it can't be perfect, right? So if I take my temperature and, it's, and my thermometer says that my temperature is 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit, that's great. But it's going to say 98.6 even if my temperature is actually 98.62. You know, that could be my actual temperature, but the thermometer can only report as precise as it can be. So if it only has one place after the decimal, then that's what gets reported. It has to be rounded because at some point, right, the screen is too big. It's got to cut it off. So that's how that gets rounded. You could round, uh, you could round your weight. So maybe your scale at home only goes to pounds. Right. So if you're, I don't know, 150 pounds. Could be on your scale at home. You could be. 150.4 pounds on the scale at the doctor's office. Right. Home. Doctor. But either way, your actual weight gets rounded. I mean, you could be. 150.37 pounds and you're still going to get 150 pounds at home and you're still going to be 150.4 pounds at the doctor because the best that the scale can do is the best that the scale can do at the doctor's office it's one place after the decimal point at home there's no decimal it's just a whole number 150 pounds it's rounded because that is the best that the measurement device can do so that's why uh, continuous variables get rounded for statistical purposes in actual real world studies. So I hope this has been helpful and I'll see you next time.